so I'm in the midst of painting the 1500 Chevy budget paint job and uh, I'm going to give you a few pointers since I'm painting this. Now you want to use a sealer. Personally I always seal over any of my repairs or use a primer sealer. Uh, a primer that's capable of being a sealer for a repair. Now this is a black paint job so black is going to be a pain in the ass to paint. Shows up anything and everything. Uh, I'm going to give you some you know, pointers on painting one of these and I'll show you the end result and how I do it. I ain't going to be uh, showing you how because I ain't got my tripod so just try to understand the best you can. Now if you ain't going to strip any of this off you need to uh, mask everything and you need to be precise on your masking. You need to leave enough I'll show you on this truck. Enough for this paint edge to roll over. You see right here? I got this back mask on the inside. These, the same way. Just enough that clear coat can uh, roll under that and when you peel it off, it won't peel. You can use pin stripe and tape. Uh, have a, a little bit of a gap around your molding and trim, then take pin stripe and tape around it and just remove the pin stripe and tape when you get done painting and it lets that quick coat flow on down too. That's a good tip. Now this is a budget paint job as I said in my previous videos about it. They didn't want that extra cost, you know, extra, you know, they just didn't want the, you know, the chip out a little bit extra, you know, in quality because uh, I would remove the door handles, all this trim, you know, and when you remove this trim, there's a chance it might need replaced and uh, this trim is a little bit older but they didn't care about that it's going for a 16 year old boy he wants it black he wants it shiny so it's going to be shiny that's for sure uh, we placed the fenders and the doors but back to the paint uh, we masked the whole bumper off here that's normal now the mirrors as I said before he didn't want the mirrors removed so uh, we left them on now he didn't want the doors anything in the windows touched with because I guess it was a headache for him getting all that stuff but he did a great job lining the body up and everything and sourcing out these fenders he said the two fenders and the two doors came from a Tahoe I think what he said the walker panel if you've seen in the previous video it turned out great it needed a walker panel cab corner DA down the paint was pretty good he actually bare metal the front of this and this, and he used a high-tech primer on it. Now, I personally, uh, that's what they recommended to him. I personally would go with a 2K high-build primer when I bare metal something, direct metal primer. But uh, actually, they sold him some lacquer primer. And if anybody knows anything about 1K lacquer primer, is direct metal. It don't want to stick. Uh, two, it actually shrinks and it keeps shrinking on your repairs and stuff so I had to deal with all this lacquer primer and pretty much took most if not all of it off the front of this dog house to paint it because when I hit it with air holes it just flaked off and that's a few reasons this truck didn't get done as fast I didn't know that till he showed me the receipt and I looked up the part number yeah they sold him a 1k product but he ain't nobody, you know, person into primers and knowing, you know, the steps you have to take. When, when you're trying to save money, you know, the cheapest primer might look the best, but if you get them other layers onto your paint and your bottom layer don't stick, you just throw money out. You just have to redo it later, issues come up. So all that had to, been, had to be fixed before this truck even got into base and sealer. So I actually got any more work than I wanted to do on it, but that happens, you know, you you can't just, you can be a Mako and act like a Mako and just spray it and they do the body work and stuff, but sometimes your name is going on it, even though they want to save money, you, you have to make that sacrifice that you want to leave it and you know it's going to come back and uh, they're going to say, this guy painted it and, you know, you just sometimes you make the sacrifice and go a little bit extra quality work even though they didn't want to pay for it they don't have to you just did it extra 
just to give a more quality job. So, onto the paint. Once you get this block down and everything, everything ready, your primer, I ain't gonna go on that, this is on the paint. You want to seal the whole truck. We used a black seal on this truck. A uh, high tech, actually, a high tech 1K product. It's a good, decent sealer. I actually like it. It actually sticks pretty good. And, you know, it's it's a good 1K sealer if you're trying to, uh, with, you know, just get a budget paint job. It's like $30 a quart, $20, $30. It comes in a few different colors. Uh, you can go with a 2K epoxy. If you got bare metal spots, it's best to epoxy them. If you, you know, you can actually get an epoxy sealer. You can use epoxy for a sealer, don't know what I'm talking about. I get more detailed in videos coming up about products and stuff like that. But, all in all, you know, uh, you want to uh, fix your bare metal spots with epoxy. Not too big of metal, bare metal spots, you can use a sealer. This seal actually sticks pretty good. I used it in the past. Two bare metal, you know. And it's a primer sealer, so it does give you that little added protection. But epoxy's better. Uh, once you get that, you can come in, get your base, and uh, whatever color you're painting, whatever product you're painting. To me, if you're doing an all-over, base is base. It don't matter if it's Nelson, don't matter if it's Wanda, don't matter if it's Martin Senior, don't matter if it's uh, Excel, don't matter if it's PPG, Harmony. If you're doing all over, you know, it don't matter. You want to use a, a base, use whatever you want to, make sure it's strained good, and uh, spray out whole truck. You know, uh, higher end bases do good, you know, do better. But, if you your budget and doing all over, that cheaper base should do you just fine. Uh, on the, you know, clear coat, a good medium grade clear coat is the finished one. Uh, 720, it's pretty much all I use anymore. I use Omni, PP, you know, Omni is PPG. DBC, DBC is great. Uh, I used, uh, High tech, don't like high tech. Quick coat, six months it will shrink. You know, the seal is great, the high tech brand. Some of the primers, 2K, can be workable, but high tech does have a habit of shrinking. But the uh, sealer seems to do great. That's the best high tech product I've found so far that works for me. Uh, as for the quick coat, as you go over your base, the finish one line is the best I've found so far. They offer 30 minute clear coats and stuff, but 720 is a great budget clear. It's about $90 a kit, 110 depending where you're at, might be getting more. So, uh, yeah, once you put that clear coat on it and get your uh, cut and buff, it should hold up great. So, I hope in video, this video is helpful. I forgot to shoot an ending putt. Oh, you know, whoops, it happens, I guess. But behind me is the Kamal we can button to 70s. Uh, split bumper hit the 79 model you can check that out also on the channel but anyway I hope you found those few little tips and the stuff I gave you on this video helpful if you did be sure to hit that subscribe button show your support for my channel drop a like leave a comment all that good stuff thank you for watching